This is your teacher, Jenny, and we'll talk about today our writing standard equation of an ellipse. Let us write our standard equation of the ellipse with the given center at 2, 2, focus at 0, 2, vertex at 5, 2. And then first we need the information of the center and then the A and the B if we wanted to write our standard equation. Let's start off with the center. Center is given at 2, 2. So if we try to plot that one here on the Cartesian plane, we have that here under this one. We have 1 and then this one, uh, 1, 2, and then this one as 1, 2 on Y. So this is our point. And then we are going to locate the focus at F02. So F02 is here. This is our focus. This is our uh, center. And then we have our 5, 2 as the vertex. So we have that one here. So this is our vertex. Now, our A there is the distance from our center going to our uh, vertex. So if you try to look at this, we have center to vertex. If we count the number of units, we have one, two, three. So we've got three as our um, A value, but we don't have a B because from center to our focus, we have that one as uh, one, two. We've got two units away from each other. And then that is not our B, that is our C. Our C is 2. So if we wanted to look for our B, so we are to use C equal to the square root of um, A squared minus B squared. Or simply we have that one as C squared equal to A squared minus B squared. So utilizing that one, we can look for our B. So we can move A squared here to the other side. That makes it C squared minus A squared equal to b negative b squared but if you wanted to have right away our uh, b squared here positive we might consider moving our c squared i mean b squared to the other side so we have that one as b squared equal to uh, a squared minus c squared so that will be our uh, formula to use and then if we wanted to get that square root out we have b equal to the square root of the entire thing here a squared minus c squared so utilizing that one we have b equal to uh, square root of our a squared our a is three so we square that one minus our c we have two we square that one so simply find that one b is equal to the square root of three squared that's nine minus two squared that's four so b will be equal to the square root of five so we have now the square root of 5 here. So what we are going to do now is to consider that what we are having on the standard equation of our ellipse, we are having the a squared. So our a squared here will be equal to 9. Our b squared here is equal to 5. So we just have to square those two. So writing now our standard equation, so we have... This one, if you try to look at that one, the center and then the vertex, the, from the center to the vertex, we move horizontally. So we have now the orientation of our ellipse as horizontal. So since we have horizontal orientation, our bigger value, our, or our A, must be under the variable X. So we have here X minus H squared over A squared plus y minus k squared over b squared that will be equal to 1. So this is the one that we are going to use in the formatting for our uh, standard equation of the ellipse. So replacing, we have x minus our h there is, he, we have here h and k, so our h is 2, and then we square over our a squared, which is 9, plus y minus our k there is 2 and then over we square that one and then over b squared which is equal to 5 and that will be equal to 1 okay so we have here foci at 0 negative 3 0 3 and a major axis length of 10 so first if we wanted to uh, have our uh, center here we can simply find it by using the midpoint formula because 
when you have the four sides, two four sides, in the middle of it, we've got the center. So getting the center, we have our midpoint formulas as x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, comma, and then y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So plugging in, we've got x sub 1, which is 0 plus 0 over 2. And then we have here uh, negative 3 plus 3 over 2. So this is now 0 over 2. This one is negative 3 plus 3. That's another 0 over 2. So 0 over 2, that's 0. So this is 0, 0 at, as our center. So center here is at 0, 0. Or you can actually, if you have here similar number, you can just simply find the middle one by simply copying the similar number and then adding the 2 and then dividing that one by 2. So negative 3 plus 3, that's a 0. 0 over 2, that's another 0. So that is automatically the center. So that is one way of getting that one. Or another way of getting the center is you plot the point. So we have 0, negative 3 somewhere here. And then 0, 3 somewhere here. And the middle of that one, if you try to count the units, this will be the center. So that's the center. This one is a focus. This one is another focus. So we have now the center. We need the information of A and B because we need to have our A squared and B squared. Now, we are given that the major axis length of 10. We have that as the major axis length of 10. So meaning to say, if this is our focus, the focus and the vertex are always going to be together on the similar axis. So meaning to say that it is going to be vertically oriented as an ellipse. So if you have there the major axis length of 10, all we have to do is to just simply count or divide 10 by 2. Because when you say a uh, major axis length of 10, that is equivalent to 2A. Take note, 2A, major axis length of the major axis. 2A, if 2A is 10, then our A there is equal to uh, 10 over 2. That is equal to 5. So we've got now an A. So we have an A, which is 5. And then if we try to have it plotted here, our vertices from zero here, we will be counting five units up. So this is somewhere here and then down five units as well. So this is somewhere here. So we can clearly see that we've got the orientation also as vertical orientation. So that is vertical. Next one, all we have to do is to find our B. Now, the B there can be, can be uh, identified using our C. Take note from the center towards the focus, the measure there, or the indicator there, or the variable that we are using is C. So if we try to count the number of units from the center towards the foci, we've got one, two, three. There are three units away from the center. So our C there is equal to three. So if the C is equal to 3, we can now utilize our C squared equal to A squared minus B squared. And we can look for our B. We can move B to the other side. So this will be B squared equal to A squared minus C squared. And then get the square root out. This will be B equal to the square root of A squared minus C squared. So out from there... We can now plug in to find our B. So we have square root of our A squared. Uh, we've got 5 here and then we square. Our C there is 3. So we are to square. Our B will be equal to the square root of 25 minus 9. So 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. So our B there is square root of 16. And then if we got, get the square root of that one, our B now is 4. So we have our B as 4. Now take note what we need as the information here is the A squared. So we have 5 squared, that's 25. We have B squared as well, 4 squared, that's 16. So we have now all the information so we can now write our standard equation. So from the orientation vertical, we can uh, simply see it as we have x minus h squared over 
b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equal to 1. Because we've got vertical orientation here. So, simplify or plugging in, we've got that one as x minus our h there is 0. And then we have squared over our b squared, which is 16, plus y minus k, uh, k is 0, and squared over a squared, which is 25, equal to 1. Simplifying that one, we've got x squared over 16 plus y squared over 25 equal to 1 as our standard equation of our ellipse.